week, OU goes on the road to Cincinnati. Well, a record-setting night in Stillwater last night. Caden now with more on OSU's dominating defeat of Tulsa. For the OSU offense, the final numbers staggering. A school record 722 total yards. A school record 574 yards passing. 65 points, and the first 10 drives resulted in points. For me to say anything other than we're hitting on all cylinders would, wouldn't really be fair, and, and I'm not, you know, I don't want to take anything away from Tulsa. We, we just had a good night and um, had a good plan, and things worked. Brandon Wheaton throws for 409 yards and six touchdowns. To be 100% honest, I'm not really, you know, adding to numbers. You know, I mean, obviously, the most important thing is coming away with the win. I'm more happy about being 3-0 than any numbers I've you know, thrown the ball. Justin Blackman, 174 yards receiving, three more touchdowns. He has eight in three games. I can do a lot more with the ball in space now than I did last year, and uh, it has been happening. And maybe most impressive of all, OSU's record-setting performance coming on a night when Kendall Hunter tallies just 59 yards rushing. Dana Holgerson's offense truly creating pick-your-poison propositions. When we're challenged, then uh, we got to be able to have a bunch of different guys step up and have the ability for a bunch of different people to make plays. As for the Golden Hurricane, Todd Graham calling the loss embarrassing. The inability to score early, putting Tulsa behind the eight ball from the very start. One critical sequence, late second quarter, trailing by 20 but throwing for the end zone. G.J. Kinney was picked off by Andrew McGee. One play later, what could have been a 13-point game became a 27-point game with Justin Blackman's touchdown. So next up for the Pokes, a little rest. The bye week is coming, followed by the opener of Big 12 play versus Texas A&M right here in Stillwater, Thursday, September the 30th. In Stillwater, on a record-setting night for OSU's offense. Caden McFarland, 2 News, works for you.